am I in the middle of the frame? This is, this is, this is a lot. Hello everybody and welcome uh, to another wig tram video. It's been a little while since I did one of these, but you guys really enjoyed the last one. So I am back at it. This time we are going to be trying some limited edition astrology slash constellation inspired wigs from Uvimi. I had a lot of people request that I try some wigs from them, so that's what we're going to be doing today. This is going to be quite a like big boy <laughs> wig try on because I have 12 wigs. There's, th these are just a few of the bags. I have 12 wigs. That I'm gonna be rapid fire trying on giving my thoughts on. Quick disclaimer as I always give, this video is not a paid video. All the wigs that you will be seeing were given to me for free for the purpose of doing a video with them but as per usual I'm always going to be completely honest about how I feel about a given product or service and I have said this in the past about my Uvimi videos. I've done two videos with them previously and I've been a customer of theirs um, long before I ever partnered with them so that's why I decided to do it was because I had a positive experience buying from them as a normal customer and so there you go. Like I said this is a series of 12 wigs. Each one is inspired after each of the star signs so let's see what they have to offer. So this is their Leo wig. Looks beautiful, very matte. It has the matte finish that I absolutely love like with this wig which is like my favorite wig of all time basically. You guys will know I love the ones where they have a matte finish. There's no real shine to them under any sort of light. We're under very intense light right now with my studio lights and this looks absolutely matte. There's no sheen to it so I'm very thrilled about this. Oh my goodness. Um, one thing I will note is that in all the product photos the wigs have various accessories with them like in the product image this one has little ears on it since it's Leo. Leo the lion obviously. But none of the wigs actually come with those so we're just going to be uh, reviewing the wigs themselves. So this one right off the bat I think fits really well for Leo. It's a nice gradient kind of ginger wig, very beautifully curled, has this really nice kind of dark orange to light orange gradient and the fibers have like a mix of light and dark orange on them which is very very nice and like I said the quality of the fibers are great. They're very soft and it has a cute little fringe on the front and has a fantastic little scalp piece there that looks very natural. I have one on this wig which I'm a huge fan of so this one totally lives up to like the standard of this wig which is like I said my favorite wig. I think this is absolutely beautiful honestly. Very very nicely done. So I'm just gonna pop it on and we'll see how it goes. All right, so I think that this is absolutely stunning. It fits wonderfully. It's extremely comfortable. It has a really nice thickness to it. The bangs look great. And the overall style is just absolutely darling and really fits with like the theme of Leo. So I would love to, you know, pair this up with like some little lion ears. I think that'd be really cute. But yeah, this looks fantastic. It holds up beautifully under the light. This is definitely a wig that I would use. We are starting off strong. I'm very impressed with this. So uh, let's move on to the next constellation wig. So this next one that we're going to be trying out is the Aquarius wig. Again, makes sense. Has this nice watery theme to it. Again, it holds up absolutely beautifully under the light. There's no like gross sheen to it. And and again has this very nice skin top. So uh, at first glance again definitely lives up to uh, you know the previous standard that we've set so uh, let's go try it on. All right overall like the fit just like the last one is great. I think quality and style very nice and again definitely works for Pisces. So this next one here is Scorpio. Has a very cool color palette to it. It unfortunately does have a shine to it as you can see it doesn't have the same quality of fibers as the last two did. In terms of the style this is a really cool style. It has this very blunt cut. Has this really cool ombre uh, pink to purple. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure. There is one kind of weirdly like curled hair at the front here, which I think is a mistake because that just doesn't quite work. It's a little bit weird hair at the crown. I think this might be just like a pocket for putting your hair and I have my hair bunched up towards the back. So if you were to wear this wig, you'd want to braid it and like keep it all up here because usually wigs like they, they have a little kind of like built in pocket. I don't think you can really see that though when I wear it. So that's not a huge deal. It is definitely on the shinier side. The actual like cut is very nice. It has a nice like blunt cut to it. It has a good thickness to it. I really do like the color. I think the gradient looks absolutely beautiful. It has this really great transition to it. Fits really well aside from this pocket back here but again I think that's just because it's supposed to hold your hair up there. I honestly don't really know how to feel about it in terms of like how it looks. So the next one that we are going to do is the Libra wig. Right off the bat it's very soft. The fibers honestly look great. Looking at it under the light it holds up beautifully. I would definitely wish that like the last wig had the same kind of 
quiber yeah quiber fiber quality to it because th this looks absolutely wonderful under the light it again has the wonderful little skin top this has a beautiful black to purple gradient so let's try it on i'm really excited for this one all right so I love this. I think this looks fantastic. These bangs are supposed to be a straight across fringe, um, but they are too long. So I'm just parting them to the size so they don't get in my face. The bangs being too long is not a bad thing at all. It means that more people can wear the wig just because when they're longer than needed, you're just meant to cut them to size. So depending on how much hair you have underneath or how big your head is or whatever, you're gonna want the bangs to be longer. So the bangs being long is not a bad thing. I'm just saying that they are long on me. So that's why I'm just parting them to the side, um, but they are supposed to be straight across. I really love this. This looks fantastic on um, the base wig. It's a very short base wig, as you can see, which is fantastic. Really helps the whole look. Ponytail clips work very well. Quality of the wig is wonderful. I love the fibers. They feel so soft and they really hold up well under this lighting, as you can see. And the style is so flippin' cute. I love it. I love it. And uh, it works with Libra because Libra is like the scales. So you have like the two pigtails on either side. I love this. I think this is great. So the next wig we're going to look at is Sagittarius. Sagittarius is the archer so this one in the product image is styled like a uh, ponytail but it doesn't come that way it just comes unstyled It'd be nice if it like came as a ponytail wig this comes in a really beautiful teal color again not too shiny has that wonderful matte finish that I love also has the very nice skin top beautifully styled very thin Thick, very soft to the touch. It gradients into a blonde. There's also a bit of a gradient on the bangs as well. So let's try this on. Not sure if I'll pull it off, but I will do my best. All right, here we are. Definitely delivering some Sailor Neptune vibes. Not that I've ever really properly watched Sailor Moon, but I do know that this does give some Sailor Neptune vibes. You know what? It looks nice. It does look nice. I really like how, again, the quality of fibers holds up under the light. I think the color is very nice and vivid and gorgeous. Quite a unique thing. I've never seen a teal to blonde gradient before. I quite like it. I do wish that the bangs were fuller. All of the bangs on these wigs are quite thin. I guess for me to cover my whole forehead, I do wish that there was more hair there. It is supposed to be a straight cross, but again, it is too long for me. So it gets in my eyes. So I'd have to cut those, which is not a huge deal. But I kind of do wish that in the product image, it was just down since that's how they give it to you rather than kind of making it look like it's a ponytail wig. Overall, quite a nice, unique uh, looking wig. Yeah. So the next one that we're going to be taking a look at is the Taurus wig. Very nice pink wig again has a uh, quite a nice matte finish not too much of a shine to it skin top as usual looks very nice as you can see this one is a blue to kind of i don't know um pinkish blue did i say blue did i say blue i do that all the time this is a pink to pinkish brownish gradient so again very unique gradient combination that i've never really seen before let's try it on I feel like Glimmer from Shira. Definitely getting those vibes. I dig it. The style is very, very cute. I love the curly bob. These are meant to be side bangs because so they're very, very long. You just kind of put them to the side. I think it's very cute and it holds up really nicely under the light. Really no complaints, fits really well. And again, some nice Glimmer vibes. So I definitely approve of that. Ooh, that's really pretty. This is the Aries wig and in the product image, they style it with some ram horns, which is mm, beautiful. This is so pretty. Look at the curls. This is absolutely stunning. Again, holds up beautifully under the light, has the skin top. I'm always a sucker for a blonde wig. Being blonde myself, I am always a sucker for a nice blonde wig. This is really pretty. I almost like don't want to wear this because I don't want to mess up the beautiful curls, but like these look fantastic. Okay, I'm thrilled. I'm so excited to put this on. Let's go do that. This is so cute. The bangs are a perfect length for me. The actual wig cap is massive. This is so comfortable. This one probably has the biggest cap underneath out of all of them. It is very comfortable and like the style is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. This would be a wonderful wig to wear for like Lolita fashion. Definitely like reminds me of like, um, there's that one character from like Rose and Maiden, I think. This is kind of giving me those vibes. This is absolutely gorgeous. I love this. This is probably one of my favorites so far. I think it would look absolutely gorgeous with the little ram horns. That would just be the cutest look. I would definitely wear these with some ram horns. Ah, oh, definitely one of my favorites so far. 
Okay, so the next one we're gonna try on is the Pisces wig. The color is definitely accurate to what it looks like in the picture. I definitely feel like the Sagittarius wig would work better for Pisces and that this would probably work better for Sagittarius because like the Sagittarius wig had a very aqua feel to it and this one not as much, but maybe that's just me. Either way, it is a beautiful wig. The fibers I think are holding up pretty well under the lighting. They're not overly shiny. Again, has our nice little scalp piece there um, it's a beautiful brown on the top gradient that goes into a half pink half blue very nice very again unique color combination never seen a wig like this so i'm excited to try it out so let's go do that all right this feels very vogue and i love it looks great under the lighting very nice color combo. I wasn't sure how it looked on me, but it looks great. Again, the bangs, I have them to the side because they are on the longer side, so they are getting into my eyes. I really like this. This is really cute. The quality is great, fits beautifully. Very nice style. I think it looks really nice. I feel like a bubblegum queen. <laughs> and I like it. Next one is Cancer. The Crab has this reddish pink look to it and the crimping I think works. I don't know. Reminds me of claws maybe. I don't know. Anyway, um, I think this definitely works for Cancer. I like it. Very pretty. So let's try it on. Wow. I'm getting like Greek goddess vibes and I'm here for it. I like it. Dang, yeah. No, I mean, definitely, like, it's a very different look for sure with these bangs, but, like, it looks very classical, but maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just crazy. Who knows? I really like it. I think it definitely works with, like, Cancer. Again, it, it's definitely giving me, like, crab princess vibes. <laughs> princess Mr. Crabs. Um, I like it. I like that it's not just, like, a straight kind of, like, red. It has this variance to it. It's kind of, like, a subdued red mixed with like a pink. There's like two shades of fibers that are running all the way through it. Um, I really like it. This next one is Gemini, which like nailed it. Gemini's twins. We've got a beautiful half blue, half pink cut wig. Nothing more really screams Gemini as far as I'm concerned. Not overly shiny, I would say. It's very thick. It feels very beautiful to the touch. Really like it. The color looks great. And um, again, has the skin top. So let's try it on. Yes, this is wonderful. I love this. This is so nice. This is a very good look. I love this. It does not look overly shiny at all. It's holding up beautifully under this light. The quality of the fibers, the color. I love it. Oh my goodness. This is given major like pop star vibes and works perfectly for Gemini. Uh, yeah, fantastic. Oh, I like it. I like it. All right. So now we're gonna move on to our last two wigs. We did it. So this next one is Capricorn. Capricorn is the sea goat. Obviously this wig does not scream sea goat, but it is a very cool style wig. So we have this very dark brown on the top. I think it's it's holding up very well under the lights. Looks very natural. And then on the underside, it has this soft purple and an electric pink. In the product image, it's just like a dark purple. You don't see this mix of color. So it is a little bit different from the product image. Um, I think this is better. The fibers underneath are definitely more on the shinier side. They're reminding me a lot of the Scorpio wig, just in terms of how they look and feel. That's not as big of a deal, obviously, just because they are way in the back. So they're not really going to have much light hitting them. So that's not something that I'm too concerned about. Um, aside from that, we have our nice skin top. Everything else looks great. Has a really good thickness to it. Nice kind of blunt cut on the bottom. So yeah, let's, uh, let's check it out. Hmm. All right. I am pulling this off way more than I thought I would. I quite like it. These dark fibers are holding up beautifully under this light. Looks very natural. This is a really like flattering look for me. I'm very shocked. I didn't think that I could like, didn't think that I could pull off the blunt cut, but apparently I am, which I'm very excited about. Very nice. Only thing is, obviously you can't really see these ones underneath. I think in the picture it has it so that some of the front fibers are like pulled back a little bit, kind of like, like this. Um, to show the fibers underneath, which I think it, that's a great way to wear. It looks very, very nice. Um, very K-pop as well. If you do that, it looks great. Definitely shows up beautifully. I'm a big fan. I really like it. And I think the fact that the fibers in the back are a bit shinier is not an issue at all because they are not picking up the same amount of light as the dark fibers and the dark fibers um, are very, very matte. So this is one that I thought that I wouldn't really pull off, but I'm really digging it. I really like this one. Yeah. Ooh, very nice. And a very cool style. I've never seen a wig like this where it has kind of like these like secret extra bonus cool colorful fibers in the back I don't know what I'm saying what am I even saying I don't know 
I don't know. I'm crazy, but you all knew that. That's why you're subscribed, probably. Ah, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are gonna go to our final wig, and I saved a very special one for last because this, ladies and gentlemen, is my star sign, and that is Virgo. This one also very conveniently, very perfectly has some pink in it. Your girl's favorite color. Very nice. Love this cute curly wig. This is a gray to pink gradient. Gray gradient. Beautiful skin top, very matte, beautiful quality fibers, so soft, love it. Let's try it on. We're gonna try on you girl star sign, I'm so excited. I love it. I love it. I think it's very flattering. It's very me. Oh, this is absolutely gorgeous. The bangs look great. They're the perfect length for me. In the photo, I think they have two little like pigtails up there, which is like a very cute way to wear that. I would definitely wear it like that. This is adorable and I love it. And like the perfect one for my own star sign. I love it. I would have been really disappointed if the Virgo wig did not suit me at all, but this definitely suits me. I love it. Oh my goodness. This was really fun. And I have to say, I was very impressed with the quality of the wigs. There were a few that were kind of, you know, more on the shinier side than others. Some definitely have better fibers than others, as I pointed out when I was trying them on. My favorites looking back would definitely be Virgo, Leo, Aries, and Libra. Those were definitely my favorites. Definitely ones that I would wear for various things. Probably see some of these wigs popping up in some of my uh, future videos. I love these. And these are definitely wonderful choices for Lolita cords. I could definitely see them working for that. This one in particular definitely has a nice Lolita vibe to it. So I'm a big fan. This was really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope that this was helpful. I have to say I was very impressed with the quality of these wigs. I wasn't sure what to expect, but definitely happy with them. Please, by all means, let me know which one was your favorite. I'm really interested to know. If you guys are interested in checking this collection out. I will, of course, have a link down below and I also have a discount code, Anya Panda, for 10% off. And yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for this very adventurous wig try-on. That's the most wigs I've ever tried on like in one day in general. So this was definitely an adventure. Thank you guys so much again for watching. Really appreciate you guys hanging out with me for this chatty little wig try-on session. I will see you guys all next time. But until then, Panda Faces, please be sure to take care. Bye.